Hello, today I'm going to show you a small review of Web Component support in WebStorm 7. To try Web Components in action, you can use a great JavaScript library called Model Driven View, or MDV. You can find it on GitHub. It was created by Google to allow you write dynamic HTML using HTML. Here's the link. Let's check a sample. For example, I want to create a list of greetings, hello username. I already have a model with my data about users, just the names. Now I want to create a template to fill data in. To create a template, just declare it with template tag. You'll get a proper completion of attributes. Let's give it an ID, let's say greetings. We have to iterate through users to render them. To do so, we need to use a repeat tag with value users in double braces. So, to create a greeting, uh, let's use lead tag with the message hello name. <clears throat> That's all. We've just got a template for our greetings. Let's use it from JavaScript. First of all, we need to get our greeting by ID. So, here's our template. To fill data in this temp template, just set a model property to our model. That's all. As you can see, live edit feature works just fine with MDV2. You can even update your model instantly, for example, duplicate our users. So, web component support together with live edit feature gives you unique experience of developing modern web applications. Thanks for watching.